Out of Dallas County requiring businesses to make it mandatory for customers to wear masks. Leaders reacting to the rising number of COVID cases here in North Texas. Our Ariel Placencia is going to help to break all the details down for us. Ariel, this starts tonight at midnight. Is that correct? That's exactly right, Tony. 1159 tonight and then it goes until 1159 August 4th. And I'll be honest, this emergency meeting this morning included a lot of raw emotions and at times it even turned into a shouting match. But in the end, yes, they did vote to approve it. And there's one big takeaway that I want everyone to be aware of. So go ahead and take a look. The approved ordinance says that Dallas County businesses must come up with a health and safety policy, which quote must require at a minimum that all employees or visitors wear face coverings in an area or, or while performing an activity, which will necessarily involve close contact or proximity to coworkers or the public where six feet of separation is not feasible, end quote. Now, it did pass three to two. Commissioners J.J. Koch and John Wiley Price, they both voted against it. And one of the biggest sticking points for them was enforcement. They did not approve of the idea of armed police officers getting involved, especially in today's climate. Now, Dr. Elba Garcia said she would vote in favor of it, but only if language about enforcement was completely removed and if the potential fine amount was reduced from 1000 to $500. And that's exactly what happened. Dr. Garcia, Dr. Teresa Daniel, and then Judge Clay Jenkins all voted in favor of it. So again, those businesses, they must require employees as well as visitors to wear facial cloth coverings. They must post notice, obviously, this too in an area where everybody can see it. If they don't, businesses could face a fine of up to $500. And again, there is no such language in this official order about law enforcement.